Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Cosmic Theater. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and now The Ape, starring Boris Karloff, most appropriate for the current release of The Planet of the Apes. Roll tape. Time now for Cosmic Theater today, the medical horror film The Ape. Starring Boris Karloff as Dr. Bernard Adrian, a dedicated physician who's determined to cure polio. Now, in this movie, they never refer to it as polio or poliomyelitis or even infantile paralysis, but simply paralysis. But it was what we call poli polio today. His patient is a young woman portrayed by the actress Maris Rickson, who happened to be a guest on our show some time ago. He's determined that human spinal fluid could be the cure for paralysis. And just happens in town, there was a circus. The circus trainer was beating the ape. The ape, a large gorilla actually, blew beat the man in turn for what he had done to him. The man was dying and brought to Dr. Adrian's office. And before that trainer died, Karloff extracted the spinal fluid and started to use it as a cure for his patient. Now, remember, the ape, the gorilla, is still on the loose. Let's see what happens when Boris Karloff encounters him. Look. Oh, God, Dick. Well, Francis? Oh, my leg. They feel like lead. I can't lift them. But you never could lift them before. Oh, I know, but I never felt them before. You, you feel them, Francis? You feel them? They're so heavy. Oh, well, that's good news, my dear. That's what we were hoping for. It's only just the beginning. If there's any change, you send for me immediately. Yes, sir.
Building you a dime at Snowden in the Now, Karloff took the gorilla skin and then proceeded to wear it and kill off unsavory members of the town for additional spinal fluid in order to render a cure for his patient. In the end, of course, he was shot to death but was able to see his patient take her first steps as a result of his effort in this excellent movie. Now, this had solid acting and, of course, anytime Boris Karloff is in a film, we find it especially enjoyable. It, I have to admit, had a few slow moments, so on the rule scale, where first magnitude is best, tenth magnitude worst, we garner the eight garners a fourth magnitude rating. I tell you to look for it in the TV log anytime it's on, but I haven't seen it on TV in many, many years. I don't know what's happened to it. But if you should see it listed, either tape it or watch it live or do both. By the way, this is a monogram film. They also made a film called 